I love it when a plan comes together. Well, actually, love is kind of a strong word. Now that I think about it, I'm actually a little indifferent to it. I mean, I'm fine with a plan coming together, but if it doesn't come together, you know, I'm fine with adjusting the way that I think in order to kind of fit. Which is why October is the worst month for me to eat peanut butter and jelly. So here are five facts that you might not know about the A-Team. Number one, despite the fact that the A-Team, the original series, was the number one rated show on TV, it wasn't so loved by the NBC executives. And those NBC executives are always causing shenanigans. They felt like the show was a joke. According to Dirk Benedict, the actor who played Face, and Dwight Schultz, the actor who played Murdoch, the show wasn't embraced by Hollywood because of the Democrats. Man, it's all a conspiracy. It was a guy show. It was male driven. It was written by guys. It was directed by guys. It was acted by guys. It's all about what guys do every single day. We talk the way guys talk. We were the boss. We were the god. We smoked when we wanted. We shot guns when we wanted. We kissed girls and made them cry when, when we, we wanted. wanted. It was the last truly masculine show. Huh. I guess uh, masculinity must have meant something different back then. Today we just call that being an Number two! Sometimes an actor's performance can be so convincing that they fool the audience into thinking that their persona off screen must be similar to the one on screen. Apparently the actor George Pippard wanted to nip this in the bud. The butt? The butt. You see, on the show, his character Hannibal was actually somewhat of a nice guy. And you certainly can't have that reputation getting around. Not on a man show! It's said that on Dwight Schultz's first day, George came up to him and said, My name is George Pappard, and I'm not a nice guy. What? Why? Actress Marla Beasley, who played Tanya Baker in season two, also had a similar encounter. Apparently he came up to her on her first day and said, We don't want you on the show. None of the guys want you here. The only reason you're here is because the network and the producers want you. And for some reason, they think we need a girl. Well, I mean, at least he was right. He isn't a nice guy. Pappard was also jealous of Mr. T because he hated that he became the star of the show that everybody loved instead of Hannibal, which was originally supposed to be the star. By season four, the tensions had gotten so bad that they brought Robert Vaughn to be a cast member on the show. Because the two actors were longtime friends, they felt like this would hopefully relieve some tension. Did it? Eh. I don't know. Number three! On the show, they never had someone die. Despite all of the gunshots and explosions, crazy car chases and accidents, nobody ever died on the show. This is probably the reason why the producers felt like the show was kind of a joke. That and the episode where they stop a bad guy by shooting him with a lettuce cannon. It's very ridiculous. But manly! Number four! The gold Mr. T wore around his neck and body and everywhere else weighed between 30 and 45 pounds. That's like the size of my dog. He was also the only cast member to have not auditioned for his part. They saw him in a little movie you may have heard of called Rocky Three. I am the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight. And they said, that guy, that's the guy we need on our show. And then they wrote the character based on him. Number five. Actor Shardo Copley, best known for his roles in those Neil Blomkamp movies. Chappy, chappy, chappy. He was a huge fan of the A-Team as a kid, but apparently his mom wouldn't let him watch it. This didn't stop him from sneaking and watching it and also forming his own little A-Team gang at his school in South Africa. He said that another group of kids started their own A-Team after he'd already started his, and since obviously there can only be one A-team at a school, they got into a fight. And of course, Copley's gang won. So as you can imagine, when the film The A-Team was announced, he knew he had to be a part of it somehow. So while he was promoting the film District 9, he filmed himself pretending to be Murdoch in a hotel room, doing all the things he felt the character Murdoch would do in a hotel room. This worked? And he got the job. Other cool casting information about the film, Liam Neeson wasn't the only old guy that they looked at for the role of Hannibal. Other actors include Harrison Ford, Bruce Willis, Tommy Lee Jones, and George Clooney. But in the end, of course, they had to pick Liam Neeson, I assume because he has a very particular set of skills. Well, there you go, guys. You are now five facts smarter than you were when you started watching this video. So congratulations on that. A big thank you to Barry at Couch Tomato, who gave me a nice little shout out at the end of his episode this week. If you guys want to know more about the A-Team, you can go check out his episode, why the 2010 A-Team film is the same movie as Furious 7. If you liked what you saw here, then you might also like other episodes of this. I put out one around every single week. Go ahead and subscribe, and I will be back. That's all I gotta say for today. I'll talk to you guys next time. Until Till then, I'm Kevin, and those are the facts.